Uh, one more example on this page says find the equation of the tangent line where x is 1 for this function. So um, I have uh, a product here, but I also have a power of a power. So I'm going to use product rule, but I'm also going to use chain rule in the middle of it when I differentiate this. So here's my product rule. Uh, derivative of 3x to the 4th would be 12x cubed. The 4 comes down and multiplies by the 3 to give 12. Decrease the exponent by 1 from 4 to 3. Multiply by the second function. So this is the first part of the product rule. First half, kind of, if you will. Plus, and then the 3x to the 4th, the original first function, times the derivative of the second. Now here's the composite function, power of a power, of a power function. Power of a function. And so um, I'll use chain rule here. So the outside function is the 3, so the 3 comes down in front, and then it's this right here. Uh, decrease the exponent by 1 to 2, and then we multiply that by the derivative of what was in here. The derivative of x cubed plus x would be 3x squared plus 1. And so that's the chain rule differentiating x cubed plus x cubed. And that's the, 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 the end of the power, the product rule, sorry. So uh, I'm just going to simplify this a little bit. Uh, 3x to the 4th times 3 is 9x to the 4th. And I'm going to do a little bit of factoring, uh, just to write this derivative in a little simpler form before we substitute that 1 in to get the slope of the tangent line. So notice that the 9x to the 4th and the 12x cubed, there's a common factor of 3, because 3 goes into both 12 and 9. And there's an x cubed and x to the 4th, so I can factor an x cubed out. So I'm, f that's, I'm factoring a 3x cubed out. Now there's also pow common powers of x cubed plus x. It's cubed here, it's squared here. So since there's a common powers of x cubed plus x, I can factor out the lower common power, which is the power of 2. So that's why x cubed plus x squared is getting factored out. Now, when I factor 3x cubed out of 12x cubed, I get 4. And if I'm factoring x cubed plus x squared out of x cubed plus x cubed, there's still one of these left. If I factor two of them out, they're worth three. Now there's still one. That's multiplied by that four. Plus, now if I factor a 3x cubed out of 9x to the fourth, I divide 9x to the fourth by 3x cubed, and I will get 3x. And I'm factoring x cubed plus x squared out of this. So here's the x cubed plus x squared. This is going to be completely factored out, but there's still this on the end, 3x squared plus 1 to be multiplied by the 3x. And I'll close my bracket. Now I want to just simplify what's in here, so I'll just expand the 4 in and the 3x in here. So 4 times x cubed plus x would be 4x cubed plus 4x. And then 3x times 3x squared would be 9x cubed. 3x times 1 is 3x. And I'll collect the like terms. And so this is the simplest version of my um, uh, derivative. I, I, well, okay, 4x cubed and 9x cubed is 13x cubed, and 4x and 3x is 7x. Except, um, once in a while at the end of a question like this, you'll notice, oh, there's a common factor here. So I actually could factor an x out of here. If I factor it out, then I'll just combine it with the x cubed. x cubed times x is x to the fourth. So this is actually the, the simplest version, the fully factored version of the uh, derivative of our original function, 3x to the fourth times 13x squared plus 7 times x cubed plus x squared. And now I'm going to substitute 1 in place of x to find the slope of my tangent line. So the derivative where x equals 1, so I'm putting 1 in everywhere for x. Uh, this is actually just 3. Uh, this would be 13 plus 7 is 20, so 3 times 20. And then this is actually 2 squared, which is 4. So if you multiply that all out, you get 240. It's a pretty steep tangent line. The slope is 240. Now, here's my point slope form of my um, uh, tangent line. And I'm going to fill 240 in place of m. The x coordinate's 1. But I need to find the y value. So we'll go to our original function and we'll put 1 in place of x to find the y value. So 3 times 1 to the 4th times 1 cubed plus 1 cubed, and that works to 24. So 24 is my y1 value. So that's 24, m is 240, uh, x1 is 1. 
and I'll expand out on the uh, right side here 240 times x minus 1 would be 240x minus 240 and then it's easiest to write this in slope uh, y-intercept form because I'll just add 24 to both sides or bring the negative 24 over and add it to the negative 240 here and I'll get negative 216 for my y-intercept so there's the equation by tangent line y equals 240x minus 216